two energy giants, France Total Energies and Qatar's Qatar Energy, have increased their presence in the Orange Basin with more offshore acreage by getting interest in a block off the coast of South Africa ahead of offshore exploration activities. They have just scooped up more property in the Orange Basin, specifically the block 3B, 4B, and the stakes are high. Let's rewind a bit. The Orange Basin, once a quiet corner of the world's oceans, has recently become the cool key on the block. With oil discoveries popping up like mushrooms after the rain, everyone has got their eyes on it. Total Energy's Venus One and Shell's Graph One are just a couple of names that have turned this area into a hotbed for exploration. Now, Total Energies and Qatar Energies are not new to the Orange Basin party. They already have their hands in a nearby block, DWOB, where they are playing alongside Shazing. But in March 2024, these energy behemoths decided it was time to expand their empire, so they struck a deal with Africa Oil, Eco Atlantic's Azinam, and Ricocure to get their slice of Block 3B, 4B. Now, the transaction could be worth up to $46.8 million, which is the kind of money that would make anyone's head spin. Africa Oil, which is still hanging on to a 17% stake in the blocks, is set to receive $10 billion in cash, with $3.3 million already due. The rest will depend on whether the exploration pans out and the regulators give the green light. And the thing is, Africa Oil is getting a free ride. Well, sort of. Total Energies and Qatar Energies are covering up Africa Oil's share of costs, up to a cap, of course. But if these explorations hit pay dirt, and we're talking about actual oil flowing, Africa Oil will have to repay them from its share of the oil production. It's like a high-stake loan with oil barrels as the curator. So the fruit is, Total Energies and Qatar Energies aren't just throwing the money around because they're feeling generous. They're playing the long game securing their foothold in one of the world's most promising offshore oil frontiers. By bringing Africa oil along for the ride, they are not just sharing the risk, they are also locking in local partners who know the terrain, both literally and figuratively. But as with any game of Monopoly, there are risks. The Orange Basin might be a gold mine, or it might just be a very expensive pit. The seismic surveys look promising, but drilling is always a gamble. And let's not forget the regulatory huddle in South Africa. Getting all the necessary approvals could be a bureaucratic marathon. And who knows how that will play out. So it's like Total Energies and Qatar Energies are like two big cats prowling around the Orange Basin, which is basically a giant fish tank filled with potential oil reaches. They are casting their lines, reeling in blocks like they are the catch of the day. Africa Oil, on the other hand, is like the friend that comes along on your fishing trip but doesn't actually want to fish. They're just there to enjoy the ride and maybe catch a fish or two if someone else does the hard work. But the thing is, sometimes the fish don't bite. Sometimes all you get is seaweed. So while these energy giants are out there with their high-tech fishing rods, or in this case, drilling rigs, the rest of us are just left wondering, will they catch the big one? Or will they come back empty-handed? In the end, what we're witnessing here is a classic case of energy giants playing a high-stake game with billions of dollars and barrels of oils on the line. Total Energies and Qatar Energies have made the move. Now, we just wait and see. Let's just hope they don't land on the go-to-jail space, because in the world of offshore drilling, that is a very real possibility.